Okay, we're at camp. Um, okay, it doesn't give me any other option to pick. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, I'll read the fucking journal. This is what this guy looks like. The penis involved. <laughs> yeah, it's just a fucking book. I don't blame him. Miam is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and scores down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in her class. Uh, her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has it to be brought back home by the police. She is devastated. She sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get uh, the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child like uh, uh, unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. I like how they format it. It's just like very short and bold uh, responses at the bottom. 1988. You spend your following days. Uh, you you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to either uh, move her to a full-time care facility. Which one? Like, this either one you lose all relationship with you and you either fucking struggle to pay bills. Well, because of health. Like, it attempts to. But then you've got work. So either way, you're fucked. It's just not getting any better though. And you can't care for her while you're at work all the time. Okay, we're walking now. We're walking over here. I assume this is not where I'm walking. Okay. Oh, there's notes. There's a clapped rock. Looks like. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to be walking? Oh, up there. Okay, right. Oh, no, it's oh, I was trying to get down there. Okay, I'm stupid. I've just noticed how beautiful this game looks, like as in the scenery wise. It's very nice. And the music is rather calming. Ah, oh, come on now. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, it's deeply rooted into. Can I take a picture? Ding! Oh. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Bolden and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that uh, every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You so decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some, time, uh, some of the time. Susan... Uh, buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it. So if you want to see a therapist, you won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by, Miriam dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Oh wow, that is sad. Really sad. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the other back, <laughs> in the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Oh, so he hasn't had a job this entire time. 
Oh. Alright. Um, that's the lookout tower. I can do that. The, the sound effects are really nice as well, it's just a little quick look. There's some departed party there. A generator next to it. There's a generator next to a fucking outhouse. That's lovely. Let's look over here then. It's just all trees. Some rocks. And some mountains. I think that is. This doesn't seem like the safest of structures, does it? You, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, I don't know what that was for, but okay, Jesus. It just looks like some kind of run-down house. Let's have a little walk around the edge. Oh, look, there's another lookhouse. The far, far fair lookout. Oh. So, hmm. Some door. So I'm the, oh, so that's, okay, but I, I didn't get why the generator's next to the outhouse, but, I don't know. Jesus, um. Uh, Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh, radio. Oh, hey. Um, turned it the wrong way. I've left shift. Um, hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's oh. a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take Some a stab at what's wrong that. with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? <laughs> sure, buddy. Okay, now okay. go ahead. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids <laughs> by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. Oh, wow. You're out here, and it really grinds her gears, and you love it. Can I sleep now? <laughs> well, she also says I'd fuck him and charm men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Now it's my turn. Dude, I love this guy. I, I love this guy. I wanna be your man, your lover and your friend. I'm gonna love you true. I wanna be the one you 